welcome back to my channel my name is Richie and I'm so excited to show you this part two of how I wax myself at home you know you can find me on all social platforms and of course if you like the vibe so far go ahead and subscribe to my channel let's jump back where we were so in this video I'm gonna show you how I wax my bikini line using this aloe vera blue aquamarine wax that I purchased on Amazon. This is my last time utilizing this specific wax to wax myself, which means in my next video I won't be using this wax anymore. So I would love to say that I love this wax, it was really good. It lasted so many months, it was like 1 kg of wax that I found on Amazon for 19 euros and definitely would like to give it a thumbs up for this vendor and I would definitely buy again. These wax beans are on my favorite wish list so congratulations to this vendor once again. I have placed a mirror on the floor and I am looking down and applying the wax from top to bottom in direction of growth and I will remove in opposite direction so because I have the mirror in on the floor I can see it at a wider scale and it's great because it allows me to get to do bigger strips at a time they're big and somewhat medium thin and this allows me to kind of like work at the faster speed because I don't have to apply so many times. I just have to go one time and it's out. And of course, when it hurts too much, you can go ahead and apply some pressure just like you can see me do because it did hurt a lot. It hurt a lot to remove hairs of this density so, and length. Yeah. With the mirror on the floor, I have a wider vision scale and I can see from top to bottom, which allows me to circle my entire leg. And which means I catch a little bit of the back leg as well and the full inner thighs or the full bikini area. And yeah, I have to go for like long and thin applications because the hairs are too dense. It's better, it, it's long and quickly than short and painful and thick. You know what I mean? Like if I do thick and wide, it's just too painful. It's too much hair being pulled at one, at one time. And alone, that's torture. <laughs> so I try to be as smart as I can be when doing this because it's painful, don't get me wrong. I've been doing this for a while, but if I wait too long, it will hurt like a MF. <laughs> and that's where I am right now this was also a very painful session and I am showing you how I handle my super super long hairs but it's funny how my skin looks so bright once I remove those hairs and it is delightful to watch the transformation I am a black woman, I'm a black young woman, so you can see the hair curled up and it's gray and dark and it's just like, oh my God, this is me. This is me. Like the hairs even curl up a little bit. It's insane. It is insane to have hairs like this. But yeah. It's important to be waxed. That's why I cannot wax only in the summer. And I need to wax every month. That's how I feel most comfortable. That's how I feel most confident. Even when I'm at home alone, I like to walk naked. And I like smooth skin. I love massages and bathing. I love rubbing oil in my skin or you know those things and I feel like with hair it's not as smooth and because it's so dense it's just so embarrassing when I was 
a teenager in the beginning of my teenage years I went to the beach <laughs> I literally remember going to the beach with my with my bikini line completely hairy my sister was like what is that <laughs> And I was like, what? And I'm like, yeah, you have a lot of hair. And he was like, it's not like I didn't know that I had a lot of hair. But like, I had a lot of hair. And it's just like, even if I didn't care, it was shocking. It was just shocking. I was young. I was at the beach with those hairs. And that was the last time. The last time ever going to the beach with hair like that. So yeah, I literally grew up in Portugal. I am Portuguese, born and raised. Sim, olá, boa tarde, sou eu. <laughs> Speak Portuguese. And growing up in Portugal, it was just like, you know, I'm glad that when I was 15, I, went, I moved to Germany. Because, you know, I just had too much hairs to handle. And of course, if I would have found my way to the Brazilian bikini procedure. But still, you know what I mean? Like, I started waxing in Germany. And, yeah, I would have started waxing way younger if I had finished my teenage years in Portugal. Because I definitely wanted to go to the beach. So, yeah. I am somewhat of a late bloomer. And I did go through the embarrassment of going to the beach with hairs like that. And I don't wish that on nobody. So, girl, learn how to wax. If you cannot afford a studio... And even if you can afford a studio, but you prefer the comfort of doing it in your own home, do it in your own home. If you prefer, babe, get your best friend and get it done together. You know, you can wax her and she can wax you or your sister or your mother or someone you trust. They can wax you at home. All you need to do is show you the video and you guys will be able to do it. So in this scenario, because I had very dense hairs, using the mirror was very helpful because you can see I'm slightly bending over one hand is pulling the leg back the other hand is pulling the wax I have to use a lot of strength I have to inhale and exhale and pull and remember you have to work at a certain speed because if the wax gets too hard it's game over it hurts more <laughs> so you have to be quick and be brave When waxing yourself, only the strength survives. <laughs> and that strength you can build up. Of course, if you need, first times first, go to the studio so that you know how it feels. And then once you know, okay, I can do it myself, start doing it yourself. And if you cannot do it all by yourself, you know, certain parts get it at the studio, other parts get it at home. So you, you know, you're still in control of your situation. But it's important to small to work in small sections because big sections is the death of you. <laughs> so in this uh, area, like my inner thigh, <laughs> I can I mean the hairs are so dense. I feel like I say inner thigh a lot, but in my inner thighs the hairs grow in different directions. So even though I you saw me remove it in the other direction like I still like to go over like this to make sure that the bump fold has no hairs and the back leg also has no hairs just to make sure because these hairs are very dense no 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 not dense they're thick not dense the back leg and the bum area they're just thick not dense so I do a very big strip and I'm able to remove most of it with one pass sometimes tw two times just to be extra and you know with the mirror in the back it's really easy it really allows me to see everything
so yeah doing this really allows me to pull the wax a bit easier because the end of the wax strip always ends up being a little bit thinner than the beginning so yeah if this happens don't panic just try your best to remove everything together without breaking it any further so as you can see i use the popsicles multiple times i use both sides so i will maximize the usage of the popsicle this is me waxing my bum so as you can see i'm applying in direction of growth backwards and i will pull from opposite direction from the back to the front the mirror allows me to see exactly where I'm applying the wax and how I'm applying a wax so I am make sure that the wax is in within reach so that you can keep pulling your booty and applying the wax yes yeah, sometimes the wax will fall from the little popsicle but that's okay make sure that you can put a blanket on the floor that you don't mind getting dirty or you don't mind getting wax on it so as you can see both sides of the popsicle have been used i am now happy to throw that popsicle away i am tapping on it so that the skin will grasp the wax will grasp the wax the wax will grasp the hairs in full and i am pulling from the back forward <laughs> the, fell, the wax fell really quickly because i pulled it really quickly so this is as far as we will go today i will continue waxing myself off camera i will use the same method that i showed you but closer to my yoni and my bum bum <laughs> so yeah i hope that this video was helpful and let me know in the comments down below how your waxing session was so this is the moment you've been waiting for as you can see my skin it's looking very well and of course after waxing at home on my own I've got the desired results that I wanted I have no hairs I've got my bikini on I can go to the spa house I can go to the pool I can walk naked I can apply oil in my skin most importantly I feel really confident and I'm really happy that I could share with you how I take care of myself. <laughs> Before you ask, this bikini, I got it on Shein. I'm not sure how much it was anymore. I would definitely go ahead and just leave a reference for that. And yeah, I like this bikini because it fits me very well. I like to tie the bag in a different way instead of tidying it the, the, the normal way you know <laughs> and yeah I have small breasts which means I don't really need much support there the panties they fit me very well but I don't know if you noticed I uh, given I have given it an extra knot because otherwise they won't really look good and they won't give me that Instagram hips that we all want <laughs> so yeah that's where I got my bikini I am really satisfied with how this session came out and I didn't have any problems after the wax. Just remember exfoliate and moisturize. It is your duty to exfoliate and moisturize because you know waxing is a procedure that definitely dries the skin out. So I would like to give you another turnaround with the other shorts that I was wearing and these shorts are actually swimming shorts that I got at H&M these shorts were purchased because if I'm having a bad day for example my hairs are somewhat growing back and in that state where I cannot really yet just wax this is where I would wear them okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope that I could inspire you to wax at home. If not completely, just then certain parts that you can do it yourself, save a little money, and of course, maintain your confidence levels because I know that it can literally be 
a mood killer. It can definitely be a mood killer when you have a lot of hairs and you don't know how to handle them. But for that, I've created this channel where you can come back anytime you need some waxing tips. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you already know you can find me on SoundCloud and on Snapchat and on TikTok.